Find the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f at the indicated point. So, first thing we're going to want to do is remember our limit definition of derivative. Um, f prime, or your derivative, is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0. For f of x plus delta x minus f of x, your original function, divided by delta x. So, let's go ahead and do problem number 28, and then we'll do problem number 31. So starting with problem number 28, we're going to want to calculate f prime of x. So f prime of x is going to equal, and like we had, our limit definition of derivative, um, f of x plus delta x. So we need to replace x here with x plus delta x. So that's going to be 2 x plus delta x plus 4 minus, and then our original function, so 2x plus 4, small parentheses, divided by delta x, and of course our limits up here too. So carrying that down equals the limit of delta x approaches 0. So here we're going to have a 2x and a 2 delta x, a plus 4, a minus 2x, and a minus 4. So the 2x and the 2x are going to cancel, and the plus 4 and the minus 4 are going to cancel. So we're going to go ahead and write out 2 delta x, and then that's just going to be over delta x. Now, delta x and delta x cancel, and because that, the limit's no longer relevant, so you're left with 2. So that means the derivative of this function is just the number 2. So the point here was the point 1, 6. And that point is actually irrelevant to this derivative because the slope is the same everywhere. So the answer for the slope of the tangent line at... Um, point 0.1 comma 6 equals 2 because that's the slope for this function everywhere. So let's move on to 31. Remembering our limit de definition of derivative, <clears throat> we need to find the derivative of this function. So f prime of x is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. So it's going to be parentheses, oh, let's write our limit first. Limit is delta x approaches 0 for parentheses x plus delta x squared minus 2. Then we're going to subtract our original function, x squared minus 2, all over delta x. Carrying that down, limit is delta x approaches 0. So we're going to pull, into, uh, pull our uh, algebraic archives out here and do some foiling. So we're going to get x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 2 minus x squared and a minus a minus is going to be a plus 2 all over delta x. <coughs> Carrying this down. We get the limit as delta x approaches 0. x squared and minus x squared cancel. And minus 2 and plus 2 cancel. So we're left with 2x delta x plus delta x squared. Because the x squares cancel and the, the 2s cancel. <clears throat> and all of that is over delta x. We can divide a delta x out of every term, and we're left with the limit as delta x approaches 0 for 2x plus delta x. Now if we take this limit, we will find that the slope or the of this function, or the derivative, is the function 2x. So f prime of x is equal to 2x. So now 
we can take our point, 2 comma 2, and we can evaluate it, and we can figure out what the slope is at the point x equals 2. So f prime of 2 is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. So our slope at 2 comma 2 is equal to 